London's British Library is staging the UK's biggest comic book exhibition. Featuring modern-day classics like Preacher, Judge Dredd or V for Vendetta, the show also goes back centuries, highlighting Britain's long history in an art form viewed by many as quintessentially American. Co-curators John Harris Dunning and Paul Gravitt hope it'll help people see comic books in a whole new light. Yeah, this exhibition goes right back to 1470 with an incredible pauper's Bible, uh, which tells Bible stories in comic strip form. It uses balloons, it uses monsters and angels and demons, and it uses bright, garish colours. It could, could have been published today, in fact. And it shows just how long a tradition we've had. We, Britain has been at the forefront of making comics for many, many centuries. Divided into six sections ranging from sex to violence, politics and gender identity, the show is an ambitious attempt to map the evolution of British comics in a genre long known for its subversive messages. Comics really are dangerous because when trial tests were done, the Pentagon discovered that the most effective way of implanting information into their troops was using comics. Not pure text or text with photographs or text with pictures, but comics. The most effective way to educate and to, in, and to, and to influence people's thinking. They work because they engage with both halves of our brain and they require you to really be actively involved in reading. It's not like watching a movie or, uh, or a TV show. You have to make the comic come to life on the page. Veteran English comic book artist David Gibbons, best known for his collaborations with writer Alan Moore, including the miniseries Watchmen, says it's a great initiative by the British Library. Well, as someone who's laboured in comics for much longer than I really care to remember, it, it's amazing that it's now got to the stage that somewhere as prestigious as the British Library would, would devote all this space to an exhibition. <laughs> Comics Unmasked, Art and Anarchy in the UK is on at the British Library until mid-August.